everybody, this is Mrs. Ono, and I'd like to read you one of my favorite books. It's called The Grouchy Ladybug. It's by Eric Carl. Here's the dedication of the book. Aphids are very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves and then the leaves die. Ladybugs eat aphids. That's good for trees, shrubs, and other plants that have leaves. To the ladybugs, I've dedicated this book. Three cheers for them. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? Good morning. Go away. If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. And it puffed itself up and it flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Well, if you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? Well, if you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Well, if you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough. And the grouchy ladybug flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Here's the ladybug. Here's the boa constrictor. Here's the clock. It's noon. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? 
Well, if you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Well, if you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. There's the ladybug. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. That was four o'clock. Next is five o'clock. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Look how tiny he is. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. And at 5.15... The grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? And it got no answer, so it flew on. It's such a big whale. Oh. <gasps> At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back where it had started from. Oh, here you are, said the ladybug, the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Thank you. You're welcome, said the friendly ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Boys and girls, that ladybug was in a bad mood all day long, huh? I think he had a bad attitude. If you've got a bad attitude, it kind of makes you sad. Maybe it's a good idea to listen to friendly people and change your mind. That grouchy ladybug got slapped by the whale's tail and found itself way back where it started from. And the friendly ladybug shared. I hope you enjoyed that story.